った。So itchy. いらっしゃいませ。
とうございましたどちらまで行かれますか。そうですか。Is this the place you're a regular at? Yep. Oh. It's just you. <laughs> yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kind of prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey there, Dachi-san. Hey, Iroha-chan. Who are your friends? Some guests of mine, Kasuga and Namba. Hey. You never bring anyone with you. 
In fact, is this a first? Uh, I guess it is, now that you mention it. That must mean you actually like them, huh? <laughs> Hell no. You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, listen. I've got a request. Hang on. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab. <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Ah, uh, you mind though? I promise I'll make them come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. Hey, what's up with Namba? We barely get started and he passes out? He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. Tomorrow's only gonna be worse. But you know, for some reason, being around you makes it feel like it'll work itself out. Oh yeah? You must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, he's drunk all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. <laughs> Iroha chan. That was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear. I never formally introduced myself. I'm Iroha Yanagi. I'm helping out at the bar. Nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuka. Nice to meet you. Did he hire you to chat with the customers? Yep. I pull my weight around here. If your glass is empty, just give me a holler. I'll get you squared. Or if you just want to chat, I'm all ears. The customers who got to know me at my old bar actually used to call me Good Ear Iroha. So whenever you need an ear, I'm here to listen. Uh, sure, but what would I even tell you? I never got to come to these types of bars much. Whatever you want, really. You could even tell me about your dumb arguments with Adachi-san. <laughs> You'd really want to hear that? Of course. I love hearing about the little stuff that makes people better friends. So, no subject too dull, no topic off limits, okay? By the way, you've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow, that's for real? Well, I guess a dragon fish is pretty cool too. Right? I'm into it. Someday, I want to earn my place. And then my dragonfish is going to shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Dreaming big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start by finding a job. Yeah. Sorry, little dragonfish. Hmm? Listen.
Yo, Adachi-san. What's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh, is that convenience store sake? Shh, you don't have to announce it to everyone and their mother. You brought your own drink to a bar? Hell yeah. It cost an arm and a leg to get a good buzz going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallet some tender love and care. Nah, I just order a drink from the bar, even if it meant going into debt. You'd go into debt just for a drink? Hey, it's not just a drink. It's an experience. It's a chance to indulge and just let it all out, you know? Hell, you never know when a drink might change your life. It might lead you to your soulmate. And I say, the guy behind the bar who's helping provide the space for that, that guy deserves some fat stacks. Well, you sure are a nice guy, Kasuga. Well, maybe I should take your advice. Actually, no. If I go into debt, I won't pass my background check. <laughs> hey, here's a solution. I'll buy you a drink. Hey, thanks. Speaking of money, what they did to you was fucked up, man. Discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. My opinion? That's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. Let me see if I remember this correctly. You and Horinouchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, and it was a nasty one. Robbery and double homicide of some sweet old couple. My team found a suspect and made an arrest. Man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile-long rap sheet, burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi had a wife and kid. The kid was five years old at the time. His name was Takashi. The little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's... Always a chance that the relatives will lie in hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. And I was too at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming back around to what the little boy said. And even after Kusumi was arrested, I kept looking into it. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop. Told me he saw Kusumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horonouchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because he was top dog at the Kanagawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so... He was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison. Knowing full well the man was innocent. Next thing I know, Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Horinouchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself, too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I'd believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you, even after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man. But couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, to the news? I gotta assume that'd be your way of atoning for Takashi-kun, right? <laughs> well, you're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so... I got swept off of the license center faster than the leak got swept under the rug. Worst fuck-up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi-san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. 
A true friend doesn't care how many moods you kill. <laughs> you know, for an ex-Yakuza, you can say some cheesy shit. But it's sweet. What do you mean by that? Yakuza's all about brotherhood. Well, all I know is if I'd had a brother like you on the force with me, my life might have turned out different. Ah, but if the cops were anything like me, this whole country would be fucked sideways by now. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> anyway, let's have another drink. On you, if you don't mind. Fine. Hey, bartender, can we get another round? Well, it's about that time, I guess. Aw, leaving already? Oh, sorry, Iroha-chan. We got a big day tomorrow. Yo, Namba. You gonna crash on the bar or you wanna head back? <laughs> I like the vibe of this place, though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure, make yourself at home. <laughs> Nobody else does. And listen, take care of him. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. <laughs> I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I know the guy. He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart, too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do that. Hey, Kasuga! What's the holdup? Let's go! Oh, sorry! Well, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by.
got in front of him? A shogi board? Is he playing shogi outdoors? Huh. Maybe I should challenge him sometime. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I'll make it work. Now 
fun with this. Watch this. Let's go. Let's go. Tasty, delicious.
This isn't break time. On to the next bathroom. You're even slower than yesterday. I'm going. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hey, watch where you're going, janitor. Hello, Director. The woman's father. His name's Tatsuro Mokoda, correct? Understood. I'll carry it out immediately. Yes. Don't worry. Yes, he's out like a light. General anesthesia. Here we go. You know. Most people hope and pray that they'll die in their sleep. You're one of the lucky ones who actually gets to do it. Stop! Who are you? How did you get in here? Koda. This is Nanoha's dad for sure. Sir, wake up. Let's get you out of here. Damn. I didn't waste any time. What are you doing here? Contractors aren't allowed. Explain yourselves now. And hey, calm down. Can't you recognize your own uniform? Give me a break. You're not one of us. No, we aren't. Because you're not nursing home guards. Not with that kind of weaponry. I bet you got a lot of ink underneath those uniforms. Since you're from the Seiryu clan. Hmm. Huh. So, you did your homework. We know everything, man. Even what the Seiryu clan has been doing in this room. Oh, good. That makes our decision easy. We'll have to kill you and the patient! Grab her dad and get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, what was that drug you were about to inject him with? It was potassium chloride. Holy fucking shit. Do you know what it does? They use it overseas. For executions. The doctor was trying to kill her dad? Now that must have been how they killed the old woman. We got to him just in time. 
Guys, we ain't out of the woods yet. That's the guy from the cafe. Who is he? We're about to have our chance to ask him. He's coming this way. You all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. I hope you know that. Who are you? The director of this facility. And don't play dumb. I know what else you know about me. You mean how you're with the Seiryu clan? Yes. I'm Totsuka, from the Ryuto family. The Seiryu clan held its own against the Omi takeover. That made me think you guys must be pretty hardcore. And yet here you are, murdering old people for money. Where's the Yakuza's honor in you? The Seiryu clan is doing what must be done, for the good of society. You have no idea what burden we've taken on. Killing our elders for society's good? Go fuck yourself! You better let all the residents here go free right now! Or I'll tell the whole world what you're really doing here! You're welcome to try. But that would require you to walk out of here alive. And killing you is no inconvenience to me. I've got enough chemicals to melt down all your bodies! you guys don't make me say it again let all the residents go I'm afraid I just can't do that then we'll do it we'll move them all out <laughs> oh, shit it won't open 
activated the emergency lockdown. That door won't open until this time tomorrow. What? You've lost. So stop fighting me. And maybe, just maybe, I won't call the police. I won't explain to them how our home for nice, well-to-do elderly people is being robbed by three thugs. What kind of Yakuza calls the cops? You're a stain on your family. Call me what you want, but if I call the cops, you're done. I suggest you give up and get out. Maybe instead, I'll rat you out. Oh yeah? Uh, Ichiban? Rat him out to who? The Seiryu chairman. We just need to pay him a visit at their HQ. We'll go tomorrow, bright and early, and get the chairman to fix all of this. Don't you fucking dare! This is my business, not the chairman's! If you breathe a word, I'll kill you! So you're that scared of the chairman, huh? So? So, you're coming with me, you spineless worm. Huh? Yeah, you're gonna take me there yourself. Because if you refuse to come along, I'm gonna tell the big scary chairman everything you did. And maybe, some things you didn't, too. I mean, look at yourself. Doing business like this in the name of the Seiryu clan? As a Yakuza. You accept consequences for your actions. So... Does this mean we have to go? Listen. Got it. Okay, I guess. Should I open it? Sweet! I'm good.
food. ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。
this. Have fun with this. Come on now. Let's go. want to hear a scary story where'd that come from uh, sure whatever i was at a laundromat a little while back and as anyone would i put my clothes in the dryer when there was about five or so minutes left my cell rang and i, and I went outside to talk and after 10 minutes i hung up and went back inside <gasps> the dryer was still going and the time left 30 minutes Whoa, that is freaky. Did you extend the time or something? Of course not. Why would I do that? Yeah, no good dryer shrank my favorite shirt because of that. The thing got all tight. Still wore it, though. You still wore it? Didn't think this story could get scarier, but... Mister, it was my birthday yesterday. Huh, you don't say. Suppose I should give you some sort of present. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. I'm sorry. I guess I made it sound like I was asking for one. Nonsense. You're only going to turn this age once. Why not let me celebrate? But aren't you broke, mister? Uh. <laughs> Well, you got me there, but still. <sighs> Mister, isn't it hard enough just trying to survive out here? It's nice of you to think of me, though. Thanks. Sure. You're a good kid, Shotakun. Oh, I'm gonna be late for cram school. I gotta go. See you later, Mister. Yeah. Take care of yourself. be hard to track him down. Probably better off handing it over to the old man.
Ritchie. Let's 
I slept like a baby. Hmm? A nonsense moving, comforting low hum. Kicking back in a cold but comfy seat in complete and total darkness. Place is perfect when you need a nap. Yeah, I'll stop by again next time class is canceled. I don't remember anything about the movie though. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage film theater. I guess they only show old movies here. Yeah. We're not an inn, you know. Have a little respect, huh? Ah, this is a classic, too. Hey, mister. Interested in watching a movie? We've got some classic titles in-house. Oh, well... Well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> It's quite all right. But just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. Old films span a whole range of genres, from sci-fi to romance, suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of course, we have many titles are just as spectacular as the latest and the greatest, guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. These were long before CG, which means things like real explosions on the set doesn't get much better than that. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. All right, I'll bite. You must really love movies. Your eyes light up whenever you talk about them. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy, even if it's just a little. It'd be a waste if they were left to be forgotten. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment, an ever-fleeting sparkle. Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. I get you. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. The Seagull Cinema is a place where anyone of any age can come to appreciate the classics. Though, anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening. <laughs> Regardless, this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself. And since it's your first time, this one's on the house. Really? You sure? Quite. I'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer. So, I might as well. Excellent. Right this way, please. Today's showing is a monumental piece. Robo Cook. Half culinary drama, half gunslinging action masterpiece. I can watch this over and over again and never get tired of it. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna watch too? Of course. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want, at any time I please. All right. Well, it's about to start. No sleeping during the screening now. We must show our utmost respect for those who brought these splendid works to life. I dare say that even blinking would be a waste of precious screening time. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> oh, shit. This place is weirdly comfy. Damn. Now I'm sleepy as hell. Oh, that guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep.
私には記憶はない何のために生まれたのか家族も友も愛するものもわからないだがこれだけははっきりとわかる私は料理のために生きるのだ I almost nodded off there. <laughs> I fall asleep for once. Sleepy all of a sudden. That was awesome! Made it to the end! Awesome.
Whew. At least I was able to stay awake. That was pretty good, though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. A good movie's a good movie. I probably would have gone my whole life without watching one of these if it wasn't for this place. This guy really wants everyone to enjoy the classics, huh? There's still a lot I haven't seen, so I should come take a breather when I have time. Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. Oh, sure, respect the classics. <laughs> Okay. I got this. Take your best Fire shot. <laughs> Watch this. Have fun with this. ありがとうございました。
Okay. Huh? I got this. Watch this. Have fun with this. Get weak. Get caught. Yeah, we go. Do that. Okay. Uh, I don't see any guards. That's because no one is stupid enough to try and raid the Serio clan. You set us up. We never grant entry to anyone from other factions. That gate drops like a cattle chute if someone walks through without giving the correct signal. Then, we take our time with the slaughter. Whatever their rank may be in their own herds, we don't give a shit. Where's the chairman? Upper floor somewhere? Perhaps. You'll never reach him. I won't let you get anywhere near his office. Oh, I was really hoping you'd seen the light. Guess we're back to using brute force, boys. I tell you, never a dull day with Ichiban. Well, people better put us in their wills for this. Bring it! Someone on this team, you need on it. Yeah. No staff? Watch this. You're in it now! Have fun with this! Uh, 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 we check this out! I'm up! I got here, right? Get caught! Caught in it! Okay. 
Watch this. Have Take fun with this. here alive. You gotta be kidding me. How are we supposed to get through? Well, standing around won't solve anything. Let's find another way around. Door's locked. This is a dead end. This should hold it. Good call. Open up, assholes! Now what? We can't hold this forever. Then we need to improvise. Son of a. Before they get away! Hey! Get your ass over here! They bought it. Yeah, I guess so. Hey. You're good, Namba. Coast is clear. Listen. Hold on. Gentlemen, get rid of them! Okay. I got this! Watch this! No, sir! Don't get caught! Yeah. 
No one else is coming? Pretty weak ambush if you ask me. I bet those idiots wanted to hog the credit for taking out the intruders. Oh, is that what it is? Wouldn't it be easier for them if they all ganged up on us? Nobody climbs the corporate ladder in a group. Criminals included. Huh. No wonder I've never been promoted. Ready when you are. Should I open it? Got it! Let's do it! Cool! Take your best shot! Check this out! You're weak! <laughs> I got yeah. this! you into the floor myself! Not a loser! Okay. Let's go! You wanna Have go? Have fun with this! Watch this!
I'm up! I got this! Go. feeling about this. Let's get making the first move and just see how it goes. Okay. Cool. I'm up. Yeah. Should I open it? Sweet! Where are we going? Behind us! You're never gonna make it to the chairman! Holy shit! Hang on! I'll get you out of this! Hold on, Alba! I got you!
I've had enough of you rat bastards scurrying around. Time to get exterminated. Let's do it. Cool. Get serious. Come on now. Okay. Yeah. Should I open it? Got it. Oh. 
Seriously? Should I open it? Sweet! Should I open it? Got it! Back again, huh? So this is where we are. Wait, we, we've been here already? <laughs> Doesn't seem too familiar to me. So we were just here a minute ago. You guys have terrible memory. Hey, this place looks safe enough. Why don't we take a breather? <laughs> yeah. 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 
the likes of you learn to fight like that? Ugh. Who are you? We're employees from your place of business, Otohime Land. Ugh. You're from our own soap land? We were helping Nanoha Mukoda, a woman who works there. You've been sucking money out of her while keeping her dad prisoner in the old folks' home. I told you, we're doing what needs to be done. I've heard all that already, and it's bullshit! You can't just twist the Yakuza code to suit yourself! That's being a fucking prick! Stop this. <laughs> Boss! Totska, what's happening here? <sighs> There was a dispute on our turf, and so... You look like hitmen to me. Are you Yakuza? We're not hitmen. We came with a request for the chairman. A request? About Totska's business operation. Sunlight Castle? Could we have a bit of your time? How can I be sure you won't try to kill me? Frisk us if you want. We're unarmed. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? This guy had a strange looking bill on him. <sighs> yeah, I've had that for a while. No idea where it came from, though. Someone just put it in my pocket at some point. <sighs> what should we do? Nothing. It's just play money.
You sure you don't want to tie a string around it? Hurts like a bitch if you don't. I suppose you would know, wouldn't you? Of course, after you made me lose two of them. Just give me the knife already, Captain. It's natural that society wants to avoid seeing its own underbelly. But luckily for those who refuse to look, I've taken many risks to protect them from the Komi Jewel. I've protected them from the Chinese faction as well. Yeah, I don't know everything about it, but I figured it was the Seiryu clan keeping it all balanced. The balance is starting to crumble. It must be said that in any faction, the men operate businesses unknown to the boss. But I'm hearing that some have gone so low as to extort money from the homeless. Yeah, that's the Yokohama Leomon. I got plenty of personal experience with that. I see. And as for Totsuka, I never thought he would keep such a large business secret. Thank you for telling me. I knew of its existence, of course. And I was glad Totsuka was the director. Our clan bought that building 30 years ago. It was crumbling. Some wanted it demolished. Others wanted to make it a historic landmark. I settled the issue. I said it should be turned into a retirement home, run by Totska. I trusted him completely. I never knew he was running another type of business on the top floor. It was still in the exploratory phase. I... I was gonna tell you about it once it became a viable business. It's gross that you're even calling it a business. Chairman, the whole operation is just wrong. You gotta do something. The people there need to be let out. Hmm. Kasuga, was it? Yes, sir. I think you have the wrong idea here. Sorry? I appreciate you telling me about Totska's secret business, but I have no need or desire for your opinion. What? He's murdering innocent people. Misfortune is often a side effect of profit. One's happiness might be purchased with another's unhappiness. To a certain extent, that is unavoidable in our line of work. <laughs> Agreed, boss. With that logic, you could justify anything, no matter how dishonorable. Totska, I'd like to hear your own description of what happens on the top floor. The excellent course offers a smooth and painless transition out of this life. It's compassionate euthanasia. Euthanasia? That's bullshit! I saw it happen! You murdered the woman who was in a wheelchair! Euthanasia is a painless release given to those who need it. That woman in the wheelchair left this world peacefully. You should realize, sometimes it's not the patient who wants it, but the family. Oh yeah? What about Nanoha's dad? Perfect example. She wanted us to dispatch her father. Liar! What do you know about it? I met with her myself and she approved it. That can't be true. <laughs> Consider this your lesson about certain realities in this world. Anyway, I'm done playing teacher. Totska! Sir! Put it down. I don't need your finger. Thank you, Chairman. But that doesn't mean that I approve of this little side business you were running. Therefore... Takabe! Understood. Boys, take him out of here. What? Show him what'll happen if he ever sets foot in here again. 
German! German! Kasuga. A Yakuza cannot be judged merely by society's standards of what is right and wrong. Our reputation is everything. But we cannot preserve our reputation if we allow civilians like you to trespass. Don't fool yourself into thinking you did something brave today. The truth is, your actions have disgraced me and the Seiryu clan. I want that knowledge to weigh heavy on your heart. As scared as I should be right now, I'm super into it, Chairman. That was awesome. I'm sorry. I was starting to think that during the 18 years I spent in prison, the type of Yakuza I admired went extinct. But you're one of them. You're the old school kind of Yakuza. The kind I've always believed in, and always will. I see. I'm glad such a thing is still appreciated. I must admit, I find myself wondering what kind of Yakuza raised you like that. You're asking about my patriarch? Hmm. He was the type of guy who would show up to rescue a dumbass kid who dropped his name just to get out of trouble. Even a kid he never met. He cut off his own finger for the family name. Right. Let's go home. Wait. I'm curious. What was the name of this patriarch? Masumi Arakawa. Of the Arakawa family. Ex Tojo clan. Arakawa? Yep. Although when I went to find him the other day, he did put a bullet in me. <laughs> so, I guess I should probably take the hint. But he can't take away all the lessons I learned from him. To me, He's still the way a man ought to be. Arakawa. I'll remember that. Well, guess we should head back to the Soapland. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. So, that was a shocker. Um, Nanoha agreed to the euthanasia. I guess you never know for sure what people really want. <sighs> hey, just a minute, please. Need something, Captain? Come to Sunlight Castle with me. I'm having Nanoha meet us there. What? Why? Just do it. Are you Nanoha Mukoda? Yes. We talked on the phone. I'm Takabe, the general manager. Um, where's Totsuka-san? He had some urgent business and couldn't be here, so I'm filling in. I see. I apologize for how sudden this is, but we're closing our institution. You're closing? Yes. As such, we won't be able to continue caring for your father. We're terribly sorry, but you'll have to make other arrangements for him. But the... the operation wasn't that scheduled for today? It's been cancelled. 
We deeply apologize and ask for your understanding. Cancelled? But if he doesn't get that operation, he'll die! Huh? Hold up. What did you just say? They said... he'll die without the surgery. Uh, just double-checking. But is that what you paid Totska for last time you met? What did you two talk about? Um... At the meeting, we... Somehow I scraped together two million yen. But can I finish paying later? Maybe we don't even have to do the surgery that soon. I'm worried he's still too weak for it. Don't tell me you're having second thoughts now. Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. Now you're cheaping out on him? No, please don't say that. Of course I want Dad to have peace in his golden years. I don't want him in pain, but... Does it have to be so expensive? I'm afraid it does. Given the delicate nature of the task, there may be complications. Don't you see the need for finesse? That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's never had an operation. Oh. <laughs> First timer, huh? Hey, if we can laugh about it, it must not be that bad, right? Huh? Uh, I guess. So she had no idea. It seems not. She thought the operation was a life-saving procedure. Damn, and we barely got to him in time. Nanohasa, let me assure you, the operation is no longer necessary. Sorry? Your father was examined again. And doctors concluded the previous diagnosis was incorrect. Oh, really? Yes. Therefore, we are returning this payment to you immediately. We realize how inconvenient our closure is to you. So, all money paid towards care after today's date will be refunded. But... what do I do now? When does he have to move out? Please, don't worry. There will be no forced relocations. As I said, we re realize how inconvenient this is for you. Your father may stay here free of charge until you make other arrangements. Are you serious? Finally, some actual fairness. This was by order of the chairman. I'm glad to hear that. Real glad. So, who was it who said she was in trouble again? Leave it alone. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> so much for detectives' hunches. Hey, Adachi's mistake led to her dad's survival, so there. Let's just be grateful for our luck. I'll trust you all to iron out whatever you need to. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> hey, bit of advice. You should put that away. Oh, yes, of course. Now that you've got a fat wad of cash, maybe you can afford to work at a nicer place, you know? Sorry? We were hired to work at Otohime Land while you were out. You were only working there so you could fund your dad's care, right? Uh, yes. You don't even have to go back. We'll tell the boss you quit if you like. Oh, and we'll get you any back pay you're owed. Really? Oh, that'd be great, actually. No worries. Go on and see your dad. I'm sure he's gonna flip when he sees you. Thank you. You know, seeing that smile, I can see why she was their most popular girl. <laughs> Such a ladies' man, aren't you? Okay, let's go report to the boss.